Okay, hello and welcome. Then when we are planning to install this tensioner, put this in here, back, it's good to train to use this tensioner. First step is that we need to we need to set up this tensioner in this loaded load position and it happens so that that when there is this small clipper in here and when I release that and I take it out now this tensioner is in full speed and it it is in maximum tensioner amount in that position and it, it don't go down because there is special brake in here and this brake can be open so that we need to press that part in down and I will show next that okay and this tensioner use is very good to train before of this installation uh, to, to this with this timing chain because this is quite complex part and normally when we try to press that down it don't move but here is this small locking system and we need, we need to press in that area in down in this way and when I press that in here this moves little bit up and then same time I press that that piston down and now it's in down there then there is also this locking mechanism and this is good to remember to insert in like loaded ready position and then when I again do that first that press down in here now it's down be carefully and then I press that in here and then next step is to insert that small clipper little bit up that piston in here and then clipper it's loaded and there is this loaded position and then then when we are installing that tensioner in this this uh, ready timing chain this chain system we need to train before of this job because this job is not so easy and there is this timing chain cover it is in here and there is this crankshaft hole and in here there is this upper part okay and in, in, in that hole in here this is this tensioner hole and then we check that how it works there is this hole and then this tensioner goes in we insert that in this tensioner in this loading position and it goes in here that way and could be install and it is not possible to install in wrong way and this is those Toyota's fantastic ideas it goes only one way and then we look in here and it, it is in there and then we need to press that final part there is this O O ring and then I press that in deep. Now there's this big sound. Now it's in there. And then we we need to train this this opening because when we install this cover, we need to open that tensioner in that hole. And it is not much. The steepness is so thin. This amount. And we need to insert that tool in here and a little bit when, when we insert we, we can try to open that locking bolt but this is quite thick and that's best way is to little bit move this piston in that direction in, in back and in this way that I insert my tool in there and then I press that in here in this position and then this this piston opens really fast and it start to thicken this timing belt what is just now in here like in this red red bike and then it start to thicken this automatically now I saw that I pressed that piston a little bit down okay now it happens that, that I missed to insert this 
is two 10 millimeter bolts. And next I insert these in here because this is good draining. And we continue. Okay, and now I'm back in here. And I, I have these bolts. What is special aluminium bolt. And it fits in here. And, and these are not normal steel bolts. They are aluminium. And I thicken this in here. And next one in here. And now I, and in, in this final thickening, I need to use this moment tool because there is special moment in these bolts. And then I do this training again. Okay, I press that down, and then I believe that this locking thing opens. And this space is so small in that amount of space. And then I press that little bit down, and what happened? Okay, now it opens. And this is this how to release and fire this tensioner piston out. And now it start to automatically thicken this time belt in here. Okay, and this was this information. And next we go to install this tensioner in this ready position. When I have already installed that cover pack. Okay, and, and here is this timing chain tensioner place. And it's that hole, and here these holes are exhaust manifold holes. And this location is then in a little bit in when there is this timing chain, and here are those injection molds. It is like in this back area, and in that hole we install next this tensioner, and then I then I take the tensioner. It is in here, and then there is this O, o ring in the, here, this black ring, and it's good to check that it is okay and elastic, because if, if there is some oil leaks, and actually it's good to replace if you have old car. But in this my car is very new, and this seal is also okay, and that's I don't replace, but I recommend that always replace this o-ring in this tensioner and then this tensioner goes in this hole only one way and 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 this is wrong way and then when I rotate that little bit in this way then this tensioner goes nicely and then we press that smoothly in there that we hear this clap this way. And then we need to insert in here two bolts. Two bolts in there. And they are in here. And these they are like special bolts. They are aluminium and they fit in here. And next when we thicken these we need to use Tokua friends tool. And there is special moment. What is okay? And then I have here this this 10 millimeter socket and talk with friends tool. And I set up this force in now in this 10 10 newton meters. Here is this talk with and 10 newton meters. And then I thicken these bolts. And we wait this click sound. Now it clicks sound again. Okay, and and now this this timing chain tensioner is in location, and then we need to do this very interesting this launch and release and this fire, fire operation. And we go to look next in that hole. And this is interesting. Okay, and then I need to check that is this really, this locking bar release. 
And in that position, when we look in, look in there, and I have that kind of this measurement metallic pike foot goes in right in this this hole in there and I can move that little bit and there is this there is this I can see that that there is this moving this metallic metallic clipper there yes it moves in there okay and that means that that now this this clipper what is in there I can move that and it means that that this locking bolt is released okay but it, this is quite okay, now maybe we can see in there deeper or could we could we see that it's just in in here I can little bit move that that part in and it, it this locking part is now moving but this is this is bad bad thing to check okay now it's in there this locking bar is open if could we see that in somehow there it is okay there it is just just a little bit open okay now now we can see in there there is this locking bar it is just in there now I move it Okay, there is this bar. Okay, and it is really is. And that means that this this uh, tensioner is working. Okay, and this was this information. And thank you for watching.